This is chapter 4-2. We're going to investigate triangle congruence and specifically we're going to talk about side-side-side postulate and the side-angle-side postulate. So this is the side-side-side postulate which says that if three sides of one triangle are congruent to three corresponding sides of another triangle, then the two triangles ha have to be congruent to each other. Let's show a little video of this. So if I move this point, you'll see that no matter how I move it, those two triangles are going to be congruent because the corresponding sides AB is congruent to DE, BC is congruent to EF, and AC is congruent to DF. So no matter how I move this around, we're good. So in this example, triangle ABC is congruent to DEF because of the side-side-side postulate. Let's look closely. AB is 4. That's the first two letters. DE is what corresponds. So let's look at DE. Is that 4? Yes, it is. BC in blue is 6. Second two letters. Whoops. Then that would be EF. Yeah, that's 6 as well, and the last, the outside letters, A, C, is 9, and the outside letters here, D, F, is 9. So the letters all correspond in our notation, and these two triangles are congruent by the side-side-side postulate. And now we're going on the side-angle-side postulate, where if two sides and an included angle, meaning that order matters, a side then an angle, then a side. Um, well, anyway, if the two sides of the included angle are congruent to the corresponding sides and included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent to each other. So look, here we go. We've got AB is congruent to DE. There's an included angle at angle B, included angle at E, and then BC is congruent to EF. Then those two triangles are congruent by the side angle side postulate. Now, let's see if we can demo this. Okay, I found the file, so we can demo this. Look, ABC is congruent to DEF by side, angle, side, side, angle, side. And notice that I can drag this point B. And no matter what I do, those two triangles, they are congruent by side, angle, side. Now, we have to be careful because order does matter. Side, angle, side, side, an included angle on a side. This triangle is not congruent to this one on the right because look, side, no angle, and a side. See, the angle is not included between this one mark and the two marks. Look, angle is between the one mark and the two marks. So this is side, angle, side. This is cursing. This is angle, side, side. And to try to help you remember that order matters, no donkey, no angle side side. Now to make a point of this, let's just do a demo of this. Look, this is angle side side, angle side side. You'll notice that sometimes it works. And see, sometimes it doesn't. That's my wife cooking. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not going to edit that out. You probably heard the police car go by a moment ago as well. But see, see right there, clearly these two triangles are not congruent. Look, this is obtuse. This is acute. So angle side side is not an option. All right, so let's try to sum this up. Are the two triangles in the top left corner congruent? Let's see, we got a side, side, one mark, two marks, two marks, three marks, three marks. These two triangles are clearly congruent to each other. The question is, is what order do we write them in? Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle hmm, A is between one and three marks. E is between one and three marks. So E corresponds with A. 
let's see, B. B is between 1 and 2. F is between 1 and 2. And the only letter that's left over is D. So ABC, triangle ABC is congruent to EFD. Now let's be a little careful here. This one here, we're trying to do, oh, this is by side, side, side. And this triangle, these two triangles here are congruent by side, side, side. But then you can complain and say, wait a minute, there are only two sides that are congruent. Ah, but we have reflexive property. This side is congruent to itself. So therefore, triangle um, GHI is congruent to triangle, hmm, G is between 2 and 3 marks, J is between 2 and 3 marks. Let's see, H, H is between 1 and 3. So on this triangle, 1 and 3 is H. And then I is what's left over. I is between 1 and 2, 1 and 2. Yeah, that works. This one here, we have a shared side as well. KM is congruent to itself. So therefore, triangle, let's see, KMN is congruent to triangle KML. Okay, here. These two triangles are congruent by side, angle, side side, angle, side. So triangle POQ. Nice. Let me put pause for a second. Oh, I saved you from my cruddy handwriting. POQ is congruent to STR. Double check. P is between 1 and 2 marks with a congruent angle symbol. S, 1 and 2 marks with a congruent angle symbol. This is included between those two sides. Let's see, O. O is between 1 and no marks. T is between 1 and no marks. And let's see, Q. 2 and nothing. So that would mean R is between 2 and nothing. Yep. Side, angle, side. And that's it. Thank you for watching Chapter 4-2 on Triangle Congruence from Side, 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 and Side, Angle, Side.